Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Here we are in the second lecture of the series and I will be explaining you uh, the preliminaries of this measurement system. Why we need to take ciliar measurements and not a single measurement. A single measurement would not be of value in modeling the growth and obesity profile of a child. But a serial measurement would be a time series and in which you can see whether the child is gaining height, whether the child is steady on the height or somehow God forbid losing height and there could be reasons for that or the child is gaining mass, losing mass or is steady on mass. In addition, there would be a very important thing is that we'll be looking at the percentiles. It could happen that the child is climbing up on the height trajectory, but uh, going down on the percentile trajectory and which we would be calling as the pseudo gain of height and similarly a similar effect on the mass scale would be called as pseudo gain of mass. So this is the purpose of the measurement. Actually by measuring the serial <coughs> uh, values of height and mass, we generate growth and obesity vector road map which gives the uh, parents and the doctors a real profile of how the child is behaving in the passage of time. Let me show you a growth and obesity vector road map. This I have got here. Hmm. Uh, this is the growth and obesity vector road map which I have and in this I will be explaining you uh, step by step each one of these. So I have this growth and obesity vector road map which is divided into four parts and you can see that these parts are separated by the color code. The first part is the vital statistics, the name, the scan signatures, the class and the date of checkup and the age, year, month and day and then in the decimal year and then we have got the dress code, uh, we have got the behavior code uh, which I will be explaining right after that. Then the second portion is uh, the data pertaining to height, height in centimeters then height in feet per inch. Then we have got the CDC percentile of height. We have got the scale percentile of height. Actually the CD percentile, CDC percentile of height is valid uh, for the American population. But we are taking the measurement for the Pakistani population. So based on the data of the Pakistani children, we have generated uh, a scale percentile from which we can convert the percentiles American percentiles to the Pakistani percentiles and they are more realistic. And then we have the estimated adult height which has got the significance if the child is uh, ready to go into the armed forces of Pakistan and we can see whether the boy is attaining like over here uh, the height of 5 feet 4 inches and the girl is attaining a height of 5 feet 2 inches and here this girl is attaining a height of 5 feet 2.55 inch, 2.73 inch, 2.39 inch, so she is okay. Then we have got current age, mid-parental uh, mid uh, 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 height. Uh, this is the target height. We had the target height in the on the top. If you can see that on the top, we have computed the target height as I have explained in the first lecture uh, from the height of father, height of mother, and adding or subtracting 13 uh, to this and dividing it by 2 that becomes a target height or adult mid parental height. That is the real potential in the child to attain the height. So the, what is the current age height? So this is the current age height like in the first checkup it is 118.28 and this we compare with the actual height which is here 119.36 which means the child is taller with respect to this. And uh, you can even compute the status pertaining to height uh, regarding that. So then we have got the uh, difference of height with respect to the current age uh, 
क्वालिटेटिव स्टेटस पर्टेनिंग टू हाइट एक्चुअली यहाँ करंट एज मिड पेरेंटल हाइट हियर इज 121.15 सॉरी अबाउट दैट करंट एज 118.28 इन द फर्स्ट चेकअप इज द करंट एज आर्मी कट ऑफ हाइट द करंट एज मिड पेरेंटल हाइट इज 121.15 एंड सो द चाइल्ड्स करंट हाइट इज 119.36 सो शी इज स्टंटेड एंड द डिफरेंस इज माइनस वन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन एंड द स्टेटस पर्टिंग टू हाइट इज नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट फोर एट सो शी इज फर्स्ट डिग्री स्टंटेड सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द कलर वी ऑल्सो हैव द कलर कोड्स फॉर द स्टंटिंग एंड वेस्टिंग एज वेल एज टॉलनेस देन वी हैव गॉट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द आर्मी कट ऑफ हाइट हाउ मच इज द डिफरेंस सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस शी इज आई थिंक शी हैज मोर हाइट एज कम्पेयर टू द आर्मी कट ऑफ हाइट वन पॉइंट जीरो and then i think uh, in order to uh, generate this uh, growth and obesity vector road map uh, we compute uh, the reference height we and uh, this is uh, obtained by taking the maximum of the percentiles of height percentile of army cut of height and percentile of mid parental height and from this maximum we generate the reference height whatever is the height uh, which the child should be having uh, is uh, 121 Point one five at this five, which is the current age mid parental height, and the percentile of reference height is thirty six point four nine. Now next is the field for mass. Uh, the mass field is uh, here. We have a uh, current mass, and then the clothing correction since the child was uh, um, measured in uh, underpants. So, is the therefore uh, we have got this. and then we have got uh, <coughs> the net weight uh, the cd percentile of mass net mass cdc percentile of uh, scale percentile of net mass estimated adult mass estimated adult weight and then the height percentile based optimal mass and uh, their, their difference the algebraic status pertaining to mass cdc percentile of bmi based optimal mass and bmi based optimal mass then estimated adult bmi which is computed on the basis of uh, uh, the estimated adult height and estimated adult mass this is 18.86 so therefore this child is in the proper range according to this because between 18 and uh, 25 it is considered to be proper and then the nutritional status she is under nourished because she is wasting combined with stunting then the sum of scale percentiles and her belt is small and we also assign the belt according to the small medium and big belt so this is the way we generate the growth and obesity vector road map and then what we are doing is that we are giving them the month wise targets which are determined using this growth and obesity vector road map uh, and for each month following the month of check up we have got the height target and we have got the mass mass target uh, which can be achieved and the parents can monitor whether they are uh, really working and then uh, you know, we can show uh, using a graph the the percentile trajectories uh, uh, the actual uh, trajectory and the dotted trajectory and all of this you can see in the references which will be available over here mm. let me also uh, repeat in this one uh, what is the behavior code and what is the dress code as we have discussed in the last uh, first lecture uh, so the behavior code actually is 0 1 and 3 and what does it say uh, it says that uh, when the child is relaxed and cooperative then it is 0 when the child is resistant and nagging then it is 2 and when the child is cop um, cooperative but timid and shy or maybe tense then the behavior code is 1 uh, we can take the measurements the optimum one is the behavior code 0 we can still take the measurements in behavior code 1 but if the child is exhibiting the behavior code 2 it's better not to take the measurements do it in another session and if you are still taking it then this behavior code should be entered then we talk about the dress code and the dress code we have got uh, uh it is expressed as a fraction and the num numerical value the higher the numerical value 
which is I think the more amount of the clothing present for example three upon something fully dressed above waist uh, two upon something cap hat dupatta and scarf and these head coverings they are removed dressed in shirt or uh, kameez as we say and then one upon something is undressed to undershirt and zero upon something is stripped to waist and similarly zero by three fully dressed below waist uh, uh, zero by two uh, shoes <coughs> trainers sneakers and socks removed dressed in trousers pants stockings or shalwar uh, something divided by one is undressed to short divided by zero is completely undressed below waist so this is the way we are giving and everything is now documented in our measurements uh, through the dress code and through the behavior code so we have introduced and incorporated mathematics in this measurement session thank you very much for bearing with me and inshallah we will be going to the third session in which we will be talking about the measurement of height. Thank you.